Blender for Noobs. Hello and welcome to part two of the secrets of Blender modeling. In this part of the tutorial we're going to look at the basic setup of Blender for our tutorial and also look at the, uh, the, mod the uh, image that we're going to be modeling off of and just kind of go through a brief explanation of that. So looking at the Blender interface right now you can see my basic setup is I have the top view, front view, and right view. If you have a different way of working, then of course that's perfectly fine. Uh, if however you would like to use the same setup that I'm using, I will include this blend file, this basic blend file, in the uh, reference file so that you can, you can start from that if you want to. Another thing of note is I do select with the left mouse button. Just coming from basically a Windows background, I've changed it over to that. Uh, just keep that in mind if you if you use the default and you select with the right instead of the left. So to start off with, I'm just going to X delete this cube and I'm going to go ahead and save my file. And I'm just going to call this Berkey underscore spacecraft underscore v1 for version 1. And save it. Okay, let me go ahead and load up our reference image. I'm going to go to the UV image editor and choose file or image open. Go to the spaceship view here and I'm going to do a control up arrow full screen so we can take a look here and just want to go over the basic uh, what I see in this image so we'll kind of be on the same page as far as what we're going to start out with. So I'm going to use the grease pencil and I want to change the color of it so I'm going to hit N here. Go up to the grease pencil and I'll just choose new and do new layer and I just want to change the color basically so it'll be easier to see and I'm going to make this an orange color okay and in out of that menu okay and I don't use the grease pencil very often but just to show you what I'm seeing here I'm just going to hold down D to draw which will draw our line there and holding down my right mouse button with D will erase it Okay, so what I see in this craft, even though we have what looks like a ton of details, I'm going to mark out the major areas that I see. So here's what I see. I see this area here, this first section that has this opening. So this is what I consider just this first section. There seems to be kind of a break here and then we have this middle section. And then we have what looks like to be another kind of break there and the end section. So to me this this whole piece right here is cylindrical. And then we have this interesting piece here that I'm going to consider to be like maybe the bridge or some kind of control section here. So that's kind of important to me. Um, another thing is what I'm seeing with this hull is like there's an interior section that has just a lot of detail. And there's kind of like an exterior or exterior hull pieces, which are kind of interesting, that are kind of just kind of floating out here, which is um, something to take note of. And of course on this front section I see you know these pieces here that are kind of broken up they don't go all the way around but when we start to do our model I'm gonna make ours go all the way around it's really up to you how you want to do that okay and if I hold down control D I can draw a straight line so I'm just going to outline this piece here which you know basically looks like a just humongous solar panel type of array and even though you don't see it over here, looks like, you know, there's a, another one over here that is probably the same length as this. Now the other things that I see are the details of the painting, which would be, you know, this top here. Lots of detail there. And this looks like it's coming up just about the center of the top of the ship. We have one over here, which is on the, I guess you'd call it the right side or starboard side which is really towards the end of the ship, um, not really in the middle, but further down towards the bottom. We have 
just a pile of stuff over here that appears to be coming out of the side, could be coming out of sort of the front and going off towards the rear. Hard to tell. And then you have all these details down here which are coming out of probably the center of the ship but it's more towards the front. So we have detail there. We have this pile of detail, that pile of detail, this pile of detail, and that detail over there. Really four clumps of really heavy detailing in there. With also, you know, you have some stuff in here and some detail in here that you can't really see. Now, these details don't want you to worry too much about all the detail in here. Uh, John Berkey, as an artist, was just ingenious at, if you look, if we zoom in here, we look at what the detail is, we really don't know what it is. We can zoom in all we want. There's tons of detail here, but we have no idea what it is. And I think the reason that he did that is he knew a secret that it takes some artists just forever to learn. And that is he's created tons of detail without really detailing anything. And why would you do that? Well, the reason that you do that is you leave it up to the viewer to make interpretations. Once I see something like this that is so detailed and really we don't know what it is, we start using our imagination to come up with the reasons of what things are. So when you see this, you know, far off, you see the whole whole painting, we look at it and we're just amazed at all this, you know, stuff that's coming out of the ship. We know it does something. We have no idea what it is. And we're left to think, you know, what what is what are these pieces? What do they do? And we end up thinking, you know, we, we don't know quite what it is, what it does, but we know that it's very intricate and it just adds to the artistic impression of the ship. It, it just looks amazing. So when we get to the parts where we are doing these details, we can go as far or as little as we want with the details. And we can make them make as much or as little sense as we want to. For example, this piece right here, if we want to make this like, a, I don't know, a laser cannon or a control room or something like that, we could do that. Or we could leave it as vague as we want. And really the vagueness that you see in this painting on, on the details is what, it was really the beauty of John Berkey's work, I think. So really those are the main sections of the ship that we want to concern ourselves with. The other thing is the background, which is the earth. And so we'll have this, you know, nice earth in the background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm not going to, you know, spend time modeling an earth because there are tons of tutorials on how to model an earth. You're uh, free to go and model an earth and put it in the background if you like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an image that I created of the earth and use that as the backdrop. And I'll include that in the reference file so you can just plunk it in there when we get to that point as well. So in the next part of the tutorial, what we're going to be doing in part three is blocking out the main pieces of the model.